So let's simulate the death process using Google Sheets. First, we set parameters. Let's make it bigger. And the first parameter is delta t, that is time step. Let's set it at 0.1. And the next parameter we need is the death rate. Let's set it at uh, 0.01. And let's set sequence for convenience. And time is as usual. C2 minus 1 times uh, the time step. Okay, and the population size. Let's start from 100. Uh, that's the initial population size. And next, let's set the probability of death. Uh, one death. So at uh, that is 1 minus exponential of negative mu, uh, the death rate, that's be 3 times and the time step, times the previous uh, population size, that is E2. And whether to decrement So this is determined by a random number between 0 and 1. If this is less than this probability, then we decrease the population by 1. Otherwise, the population size stays the same. And then we set the current population size. That is the sum of the previous population size plus the decrement. Okay. So let's copy these two columns all the way to 1000. Here. So this is the simulation of the death process. So let's plot this as usual. So the graph would be, the x-axis should be time, and the y-axis should be the population size. So here's the, here's one sample path of, uh, of the death process. So every time we edit this file, we get a different sample path. So let's change the death rate to 0.05. Then, as you can see, this is very close to exponential decay. It converges to zero, so extinction. And let's make it even bigger. So it's pretty fast. It goes to close to zero, uh, exactly zero, actually. So this is how you simulate the death process.